Hey folks, how you doing? This is Mahesh. Today, I'm going to round up 10 stargazing apps on the App Store and find out which is the best for you. So I do all the work and you just need to watch. So the criteria for choosing these 10 apps are these. They need to be free. Most of them have paid versions with pro features, but the basic functionality needs to be free. They should have augmented reality support where you point your device at the sky and it shows you what you're looking at. And finally, the apps should have been recently updated. Some of these apps languish in the App Store without updates for years and years, some almost a decade. For this list, I only chose apps that have been updated within the past year. So let's go. First up is Night Sky. It has a glorious view of the stars and the point and view system is highly polished and accurate. Unlike a lot of these other apps, you get access to the latest comets and satellites and the ISS in the free version. The annual subscription is 40 bucks and it gives you access to some useful features such as a light pollution map and 1.7 billion stars. You also get a one-off payment system where you get access to everything forever for 230 bucks. The free version has a unique planetarium locator if you want to find the nearest planetarium to visit. It also has support for Siri shortcuts and you can set it up to ask Siri where something is and it guides you to it using an arrow on the screen, which is pretty neat. It also comes free with the built-in camera app for various types of astrophotography. Another unique thing about night sky are the sky tags. You can long press on any object and tag it for easy location in the future. That's pretty useful. You don't get that any other app in here. Another cool feature is the various spectrums of light you can flip through, such as hydrogen alpha, infrared, ultrawire, x-rays, radio, and gamma rays. Not sure how this is of use for optical stargazing, but it's cool nonetheless. Night sky is only let down by constant pop-ups nagging you to upgrade, which can be a nuisance. So next up is Sky Guide. This one is pretty basic, without too much flashy graphics. It has the usual options, but if you want pro features like fields of view for your finder scope, then you'll have to subscribe for 40 bucks a year. This also supports Siri shortcuts. Just select an object, click the icon, and add the shortcuts, same as Night Sky. Next one up is Tellarium. The graphics and constellations look really nice and you can quickly enable or disable features with this pop-up menu here. You can also unlock the plus features with a one-time purchase of 19 bucks instead of a subscription. Paid features include lots more night sky objects and telescope control using Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Stellarium is one of the granddaddies of stargazing software and this app is slick, polished and minimalist with zero ads and no pop-ups asking you to upgrade every few minutes, which is what I like, baby. The free version also includes comets, which is rare. Next up is SkyMap. SkyMap has a very pleasing graphical design for the sky and constellations. Very nice indeed. Functionality is minimal and the paid version is just 3 bucks. However, the paid features are available for free on the other apps in this list. It does have the Greek alphabet for reference.
Starwalk 2 has gorgeous sky graphics which reflect off the water. But this might actually be a distraction if all you need is to see the nice sky. But you can easily turn it off in the settings. There, much better. This also has a spectrum bar just like nice sky which needs to be enabled in the settings. Pretty neat. Lots of stargazing news and info is also available like most of the other apps. Next we have Luminous Pro. It's the biggest download of all these apps at more than 1 GB. The great thing about Luminous Pro is that when you long press on a point in the sky, it gives you a pop-up of all available objects around that point you pressed. Because space is vast. And there's so many objects at a given point in the celestial sphere. From this, you can choose the object you want and zoom in. I love this. There are a lot of settings in here. The paid version is 24 bucks a year. And there's a one-time purchase option for $100. You also get the usual night vision mode, but there's also a very useful battery saver mode as well. Satellite data gets updated every week, but for asteroids and comets, you need to get the paid version. There's full support for telescope control, but it's only for the paid version. Very comprehensive. Next up is Skyview. It's a very basic app and has all the basic functions without ads or pop-ups, which is always great. You can also drive space navigator telescopes, whatever that means. The premium version is only three bucks on the App Store. Starry Map always says it's downloading orbital elements every time you start it up. <laughs> but I have a feeling it's just downloading the latest ads. So the ads at the bottom messes up your night vision and the movement of the sky is jerky and not smooth like the others. Also to get rid of the ads you have to pay two bucks every two months. So this app is not recommended. Stellar Tour is a very basic app with no night vision mode but has a beautiful view of the sky. Also, it has this condensed image of the entire universe. Not sure what use that is, but it's there. <laughs> so this app is totally free with no paid version offered. I think the developers are planning to face it out. And finally, we get Sky Tonight. It has a clean look but some of the labels are hard to read even at full brightness. There's a very convenient calendar here showing the major events for each night. Love this. Another cool feature is that when you click on an object, it shows its arc through the sky, including the rising and setting times, which is super convenient. Comets are also included for free. It's let down by sudden ads popping up. Also, navigating the settings can get finicky in a hurry. The paid version is just 5 bucks a year. Alright, so which is the best app? Which one should you get? After carefully considering all these 10 apps, I would say Night Sky is the best free stargazing app you can get on iOS. 
It has the most free features of all these apps and is slick and polished and regularly updated. The only letdown is you do get a lot of pop-ups begging you to upgrade. But I do have a soft spot for Sky tonight. Any questions you have, make sure to ask in the comments below. And make sure to like and sub. Thanks for watching. See you later.